What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I'm Randy with Beyond Limits of Palm Beach Mobile Detailing. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of my van and showing you my entire mobile detailing setup. Also in this video guys, I'm going to be announcing a giveaway. So make sure you stick to the end to hear all the details. Let's jump right into it. Don't not get strained but strained. Hey. Don't not get strained but strained. Hey. Don't not get strained but strained. Hey. You don't get shit straight, you don't straighten it. Let's start off by quickly showing you up front the point of view from the driver and the passenger seat. Let's get it right into it, guys. There's really nothing much to show here uh, besides maybe this partition that separates the front from the back. As you can see here, we have our uh, sun hats hanging on here. And uh, we don't really store anything else in here other than maybe our uh, floor paper mats on the driver and the passenger side doors. We have them here, we have them over there. And uh, usually when we're out working, Maybe we have a cooler in the middle with our drinks and some ice and that's about it. Other than that, everything else is in the back side of the van. Like I mentioned earlier guys, there's really nothing much to show here, uh, but I did uh, think that some of you guys might want to see how exactly it looks up front here. Moving on to the passenger sliding door, guys. Let's go ahead and open it. Let's see what's on the inside. So right off the bat, guys, we have our microfiber towels. As you can see, they're actually color sorted. So blue is for the interior of the vehicle, yellow are for the exterior of the vehicle, and green is for the windows of a car or a vehicle, guys. Right here, we have some large plush drying towels. This right here is large in size, and they're very plushy. That way, uh, we can have a nice finish on a vehicle when we are drying them. Up here, guys, we have three of these car wash mops. Uh, basically, they're just uh, wash mitts on a long handle. And we mainly use these for the roof of a vehicle or in areas that are hard to reach into, guys. It is very safe as it is actually a wash mitt and not like the normal or I see other people that they use some type of broom which can actually scratch the surface of a vehicle. No, in this case, this is actually very safe. This is just like our wash mitts that we have in the van as well. Moving on towards the left, guys, we have our main arsenal. We have here our sprayer bottles, guys, with our chemicals in them. For example, you know, this is our all-purpose cleaner. This is a sprayer bottle with some express spray wax on there. We have our tire dressing here. We have some glass cleaners over here, guys. An odor removal spray. We have a pump sprayer with more all-purpose cleaner, guys. And here we have our uh, foam cannon. This is the MJJC uh, Foam Cannon Pro. And we actually have a backup foam cannon as well. This is the Trinova uh, foam cannon, guys, if you'd like to know. Uh, moving on towards the left side of the van, guys, we have a bucket. This is our wheel cleaning bucket. As you can see, it has some brushes and it has a pump sprayer. This pump sprayer has our wheel cleaning chemical. And we have this for the inner wheels. We have another brush for the tires, a brush for the wheel itself. We have some smaller detailing brushes for the lug nuts. And here we have some extra uh, bug remover sponges guys moving on towards the next bucket we have guys this is our wash mitt bucket basically as you can see there's only wash mitt in here guys and at the bottom of the bucket there's actually two grit guards so in case we ever need to use the bucket we have two grit guards there ready to go on the right side guys we have this crate this crate actually has our microfiber towels that we use strictly for door jams or wheels and here we have a brush that uh, we actually use this to apply our tire dressings onto the tire, guys. Here we have another crate, guys. This is just basically mainly uh, miscellaneous sprayer bottles. Some sprayer bottles don't have anything in them. Some do. So they're just backup bottles and uh, backup chemicals, guys. On the right side of the crate, we actually have this trash bin, guys. So any trash that we discard of a customer's vehicle, we go and throw it in here so we can later dispose of them properly. 
Uh, to the right of the trash bin, guys, we have a clear plastic bin. This bin is actually for our dirty towels. So anytime we have some towels that we need to uh, wash, we'll just throw them in there. Any dirty towels, we'll just put them in there. And that way we know that they need to get washed soon. Right behind this plastic bin, guys, we have this. Give it a two and a half gallon uh, gas can. And it's just to store our gas in case we ever need more gas for our uh, generator, guys. Down in the right corner, guys, we have a Ryobi Honda engine. Uh, pressure washer 3000 psi and uh, we have it mainly as a backup pressure washer so if anything happens to our main pressure washer we'll go ahead and use that whether we connect it to our water tank or maybe to the customer's uh, water source at their location towards the left of the pressure washer guys we have actually the Bissell spot clean pro it's actually a very uh, known extractor for its price and for how small it is as well uh, i strongly recommend this extractor to any uh, detailer who is a beginner and is wanting to move into shampooing seats, shampooing carpets, shampooing the floors. Definitely a great uh, machine and I couldn't recommend it enough. Towards the left of the extractor guys, we have our Vapormore Steam Cleaner. This one I believe it's a Primo brand and uh, we actually don't use it too often but when we do, it does get the job done and it's a great machine to uh, steam clean uh, the interior surfaces. On the left side of our steam cleaner, guys, we have another extractor. This one is actually the Heart 3-in-1 extractor. It is a relatively cheap uh, machine, and it is a, a new machine that I found out about maybe a year ago, and I've had it for maybe six months now, and so far, um, it is very good. I can't tell for how long it, it will be uh, running good, but so far, I could recommend it to anybody looking for a cheaper uh, type of extractor guys and here guys leaning to the water tank we have a step ladder this step ladder we pull out anytime we have to deal with uh, high areas on a vehicle whether we are working on a large van a large SUV or a large truck we always pull it out that way we can reach the roofs and the top areas of a vehicle guys. here on the bottom left guys we have this uh, detailing belt this right here I like to call it my detailing belt it's actually just a simple tool belt I put it around my waist and I already have my detailing brushes here. I have my interior sponge in here. And if I wanna go ahead and grab a sprayer bottle, I can easily put it on here and get to work. So that is simple and easy to use. Let me put this back here. And last but not least guys, on this side I have a uh, drill. This d drill, we'll go ahead and grab a drill brush attachment. I'll put it on here and uh, whether we're gonna be at just hitting seats or the carpets or floor mats, we'll go ahead and, and agitate with this drill. This is actually an impact driver, not an impact drill, but it works just as good as a drill. Maybe in the near future, I will go ahead and update to an actual drill, but these work and get the job done as well when we're, whenever we're agitating carpeting. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move on towards the back of the van. Let's open up these double doors and check out what's on the inside. Here on the right, guys, we have our generator. This one is an inverter generator, and this one, exact one, is the Predator 2000 watt inverter generator from Harbor Freight. Uh, this uh, generator is a very compact, a very silent, a nice generator. I would strongly recommend if you are looking for a generator, if you're just beginning, or maybe in the future you wanna look for a generator, this generator I would strongly recommend. It has done me so good for the past two, three years now, and it's still running strong. Uh, to the right of the generator guys, we have this 30 foot uh, retractable extension cord. The way this works is if I wanna pull it out, it will come out from the van. And when I'm done using it, I could just pull it back again and it'll go back by itself. No needing to grab the extension cord manually. I'll just go ahead and connect uh, this end of the cord onto the generator and uh, it's as easy as that. Uh, moving towards the left of the generator, we have our shop vacuum. This shop vacuum right here, it's the rigid four gallon shop bag. And as you can see, we have the accessories or the attachments here in the back of the actual uh, vacuum. We have a crevice tool, we have some brushes, we have some pet hair removal uh, brushes. Uh, this one is actually also a pet hair removal attachment that goes onto the hose of the vacuum. So this one is very helpful. In front of the vacuum, guys, we have our pressure washer. This one right here is an electric pressure washer. It's the Ryobi 1600 PSI electric pressure washer. 
and we had this hooked onto a hundred gallon uh, water tank we have the water tank right here behind it guys it is mounted on by uh some thousand pound uh straps and uh the way we have it hooked on guys it's actually uh being gravity fed so we have no pump in the van everything is being gravity fed if you can tell by the video i'm not sure if you guys can see uh the water tank is actually at an angle we actually added an extra piece of wood underneath this side of uh the water tank on the left side of the water tank so it's actually leaning towards the right and that way it helps uh, the pressure washer receive the water uh, by way of gravity fed. Just a simple garden hose in between to transfer the water. And from there, guys, we go to our hose reel. Here we got a hose reel, guys, with a 50 foot heavy duty pressure washer hose, guys. And uh, so far, this hose is a strong hose. This hose reel is a strong hose reel and uh it is still going on strong after maybe uh, a year and a half or two years guys going towards the left of the pressure washer a uh, hose reel guys we have our sprayer gun right here we have the mtm sgs 28 pressure washer gun guys or the sprayer gun however you want to call it and this one right here is a beautiful gun is actually very easy to work with uh, i would have never thought i would like a gun so much but uh this one makes your job so much easier and I can say that I will probably never go back to a normal gun or a cheap gun uh, that you can probably find on Amazon. This one is a little bit on the expensive side, guys, but it's actually very worth it. We're going to go ahead and put it back here in its place where we have it set at. And on the left side, guys, we have our vacuum hose, guys. So this is a hose for the vacuum. We go ahead and connect it whenever we need the vacuum. Uh, otherwise, it just stays here, guys. Now, guys, let's talk about this storage shelf. This storage shelf is mainly just for miscellaneous things, as you can see, for our gallons, guys. Uh, right now, the gallons moved because I was driving, but uh, I usually have this a little bit more organized than it actually is right now. I have some uh, ratchets down here. I have seam clamps. Over here, I have some uh, machines for like your check, check engine lights up front. I have some uh, pet head remover. I have some uh, hoses for the pressure washer, some extra detailing brushes, and some microfiber towels to remove waxes off cars. We come to this uh, second row, guys. We have some, you know, interior uh, sponges. Uh, we have some uh, interior seats, scrub mitts. We have some extra uh, microfiber applicators when you want to add wax by hand, guys. And down here, we have some drill brush attachments. I have this, uh, I have a ceramic coating, a bottle of ceramic coating here. I have some waxes over here, some sealants right here. Some extra things down the road right here, some uh, compound. And down on that corner, we actually have a cordless uh, polisher, you could say, guys. We actually only use it to add wax, to apply wax onto a vehicle. We don't use it to uh, paint correct or add a compound on the vehicle. We only use it strictly for adding waxes. And as you can see in front of the machine, we have some pads for uh, an actual polisher that we have. And uh, that is for paint correcting and uh, all of the other things that can be done. Alrighty guys, down here are our gallons. You can see some super clean. We have our Meguiar's Express Spray Wax, all season dressing, all purpose cleaner over there, and even a wash and wax uh, Meguiar's gallon in that corner on the very bottom guys like i said again miscellaneous things different types of tools we have some uh, screwdrivers in here different sizes we have a wrench set all the way down here these are some drill bits i believe we have more drill bits here and we have like a screwdriver set with some screws and yeah guys on to the right this is a, a machine to power up your vehicle when it's dead for a battery as a battery recharger. We have our actual polisher. This one is the Griot's Garage G9 uh, polisher. We have another uh, wrench set here. Let's put this back. If I pull this deep wall bag out, it's actually an impact gun for like removing uh, bolts for off a wheel. You wanna take off a wheel of a vehicle or something like that, it comes in very handy. Let's say you have a flat or something, you can do it yourself. And here, if you can see, guys, I have two backup uh, sprayer guns. These sprayer guns, I, I think I remember I, I bought them on Amazon. They're two different guns, but, and uh, they're just uh, more of a backup uh, sprayer gun. In case my main gun goes bad or something happens to it. 
you guys i did not pay a single penny to get any of this installed i did it all myself actually and um i know it's not the best looking setup i know it's not the most professional uh setup however it works for me and it gets the job done to, for me every single day and for the past year or maybe a year and a half or even two years it's been working well and i've had no problem to date All right, you guys, as I mentioned earlier, I'm actually doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a brand new electric pressure washer. Yes, you heard it right. It's the exact same one I have inside the van, the one I just finished showing you guys. It's the Ryobi 1600 PSI electric pressure washer. It's actually a great machine for your detailing business, maybe, or if you simply want to use it at home. It's definitely a step up from a normal garden hose. So keep that in mind, guys. And all you have to do is follow these next four steps, guys. Step number one is actually going to be liking this video. Make sure you guys like this video. Step number two is going to be commenting down below. I hope I win. So comment down below. I hope I win. Step number three, guys, is going to be subscribing. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel uh, to enter the giveaway. And our last step, step number four, is actually going to be following us on Instagram, guys. Make sure you guys follow us at Beyond Limits PB. Again, that's Beyond Limits PB on Instagram, guys. So make sure you guys follow all these four steps to answer and have a chance to win this electric pressure washer. So that's all you have to do, guys. Follow these four steps. Everyone is eligible to win. I will be shipping you out the pressure washer directly to you. So the giveaway will actually end April 2nd, one month from today's posting. And I will be announcing the winner the following days. So good luck, guys. Again, I will be verifying. So make sure you guys follow all the four steps. Liking the video, commenting down below. I hope I win. Subscribing to my YouTube channel. And the last step is going to be following us on Instagram at Beyond Limits PB, guys. That's going to be a wrap for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And like always, see you on the next one, guys.